Jeff. Hey, um, got these two little ammo maples here. This one I dug up from the yard about two years ago. I think it's been this tiny little pot for two years, so uh, hasn't really done much. It grows maybe you know, two inches a year or something in this tiny little pot. So uh, if you put it in about the same size pot, you kind of want to keep it small. And this guy here. Um, Another one I just popped up from the yard last year, and I put it on a rock. It's down here somewhere, so I don't know how much I'm going to do to it, but I'm just going to take it out and check on its progress. And, uh, yeah, go from there. crisscrossing and this and that so anyways where is my little my other little scissors there we go all right so bringing close we'll put some focus um looks like this branch died i'm not sure how far down looks like it went all the way to here but if these buds are still good i'm gonna try cutting it right there and then the rest of these Probably keep these all where they're at. actually. Yeah, we'll see here. This looks like it died back to about here, so we'll cut it here. Yeah, we'll see what leaves out in the spring here, and then you cut it back to a bud just to keep it itty bitty. Um, might throw some wire on here closer to spring also so yeah that's it for that one all right for this guy let's see what we got underneath here probably gonna reuse most of the soil it should be pretty well kept together I'm thinking by the root mass but pull her up and see what we got going on here you know what I think yeah I don't think I wired it to the pot so could be snagged on those on those uh, screens down there too. let's see what we got going on here exactly how far down this rock was but I think it was pretty well down there. Let's chip away at some of this soil here. Never, this is one of the first root over rocks I've done so I'm kind of curious to see how it is going to work. bigger up there. You can see it. Plenty of feeders below that, so if we cut most of this stuff off the top, we should still be good. Some wire here. Alright, I'm going to speed it up and then uh, 
get you when it's all cleaned up. Okay guys, I got most of the soil off of here. There's still quite a bit. Um, but yeah, look at this just mat of fine roots all over this rock. So I don't know what the best idea is. I mean, they're clearly all the way down past that bottom of that rock. I think what I'm gonna do is just clean some of these up real quick. Some of the finer feeder roots, I won't disturb any of the longer ones going down. Um, just to keep that cleaner up there, encourage the root growth further down, so. All right. Hey guys, so I uh, cleaned some of that upper roots off a little bit here. Um, I put it in a little bit wider pot, a little bit shallower. Um, just add in some of the old soil back in. It's just a good old. And we'll top it off with some fresh stuff. Uh, just making sure I get in all the cracks here. Sorry if the camera's bouncing, I got it on the table with me. Uh, so, yeah, we'll try to expose a little bit up here, and encourage more root growth further down because I don't really want a pad of roots covering this nice little rock feature. So. Yeah. Finish adding some soil here. Should have enough. Good enough. If not, we got everything to make it. Right next to me. Uh, so yeah, not too much work on this little guy. Just kind of anxious and patient to see what it looked like down here. Probably going to shorten the shorten the leader quite a bit here. Uh, got quite a few lower buds forming right now. These amber maples wake up pretty quick compared to the rest of the deciduous trees I have. Um, this one's been overwintering in the garden area. Same with this one. Um, one of my garden beds, I just kind of dug, dug down. Put them all in there. They are up above the ground, so they do freeze whole pot will freeze quicker than like if I dug it down into the actual soil line but it hasn't really seemed to hurt them over the last few years um, so we'll get we'll get down below 20 here and there a couple nights every winter um, I think that's good these these guys kind of uh, I'll put some sphagnum moss here, but um, yeah, well, thanks for watching, just a little bit longer than I intended it to be, but okay, we'll see you guys next time.